Constructing Circle Graph Model Problem. Amy received a $40 allowance last month. She estimated she spent $15 on snacks, $5 on phone calls, $10 on bus fare to the mall, and $10 on a video. Create a circle graph to display and compare her expenses for the month. So whenever we make a circle graph, we are going to label each category in a table. So we're going to title this spending. So she spent money on snacks, the phone, the bus, and videos. Now we're going to create a fraction, decimal, percent, and degree table. Going to the fraction, we know that her total allowance is forty dollars so that's the whole the denominator of the fraction and she spent fifteen dollars so that's the numerator when we use calculator or do some long division we find that we get point three seven five remember always round to the nearest ten thousandth place if possible moving the decimal two places to the right we can get our percent. And the degree, the degree is simply multiplying the decimal by 360. So we want to show all work possible. When we multiply this out, we get 135 degrees. The phone, she spends $10 out of her $40 allowance. This gives her .125 as a decimal. Moving the decimal two places to the right, we get 12.5%. Uh, Always label your percents. The degree multiply by 360 your decimal and this gives you 45 degrees the bus she spends five out of forty dollars as a decimal this is point two five moving the decimal two places to the right we see that's twenty five percent which is a quarter of the circle so we should anticipate a 90 degree angle when we multiply this out and we do get 90 degrees again video is the same amount of money five dollars out of forty giving us point two five as a decimal twenty five percent as a as a percent and multiply out 360 times 0.25 and that gives us again 90 degrees. Be sure to check all of your percents. You should get approximately 100 percent if you did it properly, which in this case it works out exact. And check all of your degrees when you add up 135, 45, 90, and 90 you should get 360 degrees. This may not always work if you estimate, if you round too soon. Now we're going to graph the circle graph. So we're going to start with the 135 degree angle. Again, placing the protractor in the center drawing a straight line to the right looking at the inner circle of numbers we're going to place a tick mark between the 35 30 and the 40 sorry 130 and 140 place a tick mark remove the protractor connect the center point to that tick mark and now we want to label this as 135 degrees which is 
37.5% of the circle, and this is the snacks. So again, we need to label with the name, write the percent, and write the degree measure for each section of the circle. Next, we line up the protractor with the second side of the angle. We locate zero on the protractor and 45 inside of the numbers. Place a tick mark at 45 degrees. Remove the protractor and connect the center point to that tick mark and label that 45 degrees and that's phone and we know that's 12.5 percent. Now it looks like my drawing might be a little bit off since I should have half of the circle drawn. The last two angles are 90 degrees each. So if this should happen, you need to go back and remeasure and possibly change some of your degrees. In this case, we're just going to go on. We're going to place the straight edge of the protractor, lining up the zero with the last side that we just drew. Mark off 90 degrees. Remove the protractor, connecting the center point to that tick mark. And this should be 90 degrees. Now we know this is the bust, and we know it's 25% of the circle. And then the last portion should be 90 degrees also. It's for videos. And write the percent 25%. You always need to label your circle graph, so we're going to label it as spending. And just make sure that you look at the checklist for your circle graph. Did you give the graph a title? Yes, we did. Did you place the name, the percent, and the degree in each section? Yes, we did. And then we just need to confirm to make sure that the whole thing is filled in and that all of the angles are correct and we're all done with our model problem of a circle graph.